we have already discussed about sales price list in Odo 50. So in this video, let's see how we can make use of vendor price list. For that, just open purchase module. And here, when you come under configuration, you can see a menu vendor price list. So when you click on that, you can view few already created vendor price list with few details shown on list view and Kanban view. Now let's create a new vendor price list by clicking on this create button. And here you can choose a vendor. And you can also provide vendor product name and vendor product code. So these uh, will be used when printing a request for quotation. And you can keep these fields empty to use the internal one. And here we can mention the delivery lead time. That is the time taken by the vendor to deliver the product. So here, let me set it as two. Then you can choose a product for which you are creating the price list. After choosing the product, uh, you can also set uh, this price list for, for a particular variant. That is, if you have created variants for this product, you can uh, create price list for a specific variant. Then if you have created variants for your product, then you can also apply this price list for a specific variant. And you can set the quantity for which you are setting the price list. Then you can set a unit price, that is vendor price for this product. So for one quantity, I'm setting the unit price. As 500. And if you have enabled multi currency, then you can also change the currency for your price list. Then you can set the validity period for this price list. You can set the start date and end date of this vendor price list. You can choose a company. Now we can save this vendor price list. So I have created a vendor price list for the vendor Azure Interior. And you can see it is given that this price list is created for the product armchair. Now when you click on this product, and when you come under purchase tab, you can see that vendor price list is added here. That line is added with the vendor name shown, the currency, unit of measure, price, vendor price, then delivery lead time. And you can also update the details from this uh, product form itself. Now you can save this. You can see that the unit price is updated. Now when you create a purchase order or request for quotation, by adding the vendor. Okay, I have chosen Azure India as a vendor. Now let's add the product armchair for which we have created the price list. You can see for one quantity of this product, unit price is updated as 400 because we have created a vendor price list with this unit price. So this is how we create vendor prices and make use of it when you're creating purchase orders. And if you want to know about sales price list in Odo 15, you can just check the link above. We have done a video on that. And if you require any Odo implementation or customization in your business, drop a request to odo at